Okay, everyone. We're joined by West Virginia head coach Don Plitzewhite. Um, we'll get right into questions. So if you have a question, please say your name, and we'll get you the mic. P.J. Brown, Arizona Daily Star. What's it like for you, Coach, to be bringing this team in your first year to the NCAAs this week? Yeah, P.J., it's really special. Our young ladies have, have continued to develop and grow through the course of the season, you know, have, have battled adversity, have shown some resilience through, through that. You know, and, and so to now have an opportunity to play on the biggest stage is something that our players are really excited about. You know, and, and so now it'll be a matter of, we haven't practiced yet, so we don't know what that's going to look like. When Are we really excited and we're just really excited to be here? Or are we excited but we're you know, gonna, going to go about our, doing our business the way we normally do? So we'll have to kind of see how that, how, how that all works out because we haven't been on the court yet. And how do you, um, how do you guide your team so that they're ready to play? Right, I think it's... Arizona's certainly a very difficult, challenging matchup for us. You know, and, and so for us, we stick to the basic, simple fundamentals of the game to the best of our ability and try to put ourselves in as many situations that are game-like and prepare us. But still, I think the biggest thing for us is to try to remain as, as much into, in our routine as possible so that it's, there's a normalcy to it, even though it is something that's really special. And how do you... Um, what were you, what do you say about this matchup with Arizona? What's what's your scout for tomorrow? Oh, you want to, you want just the whole scout? Should I give you a copy of it? Yeah, no. I think Arizona is some is a team certainly that's really good on both ends of the court, and that makes them a, a really big challenge. A team that scores seventy four points a game, they score efficiently at a forty four percent clip. They shoot it well from the arc. They don't shoot as many as some teams we see, you know, in the Big Twelve, but they shoot it at a thirty four percent clip. They offensive rebound incredibly well. And then, oh, they turn their t the opponents over and hold them down. And so they're just really, really solid all the way around. They make you, they, they put you in pressure situations. And a lot of times when you think of that, you think of how teams do that on the defensive end. You know, but Arizona is good enough to put you in those, those pressure situations on the offensive end because they can attack the rim really fast. They can attack the rim by, by screening to get it inside or just posting to get it inside or driving to get it there. They can offensive rebound to get it there, and they're really good good in, in those traffic scenarios. And then when when teams that we've seen try to do everything they can to take that away, well, then they just kick it out and shoot it. And, and obviously, they shoot it at, at a very good percentage, too. So the pressure they put on you isn't just on one end of the court. And they're really good on the defensive end and turn teams over as well. But we, we've got to be really good at being in in an attack mode, if you will, on both ends. Attack, but in control. And that's something that you know I think our, as a team has been a mindset for us. It's something that early in the year we would attack, but we weren't very controlled. We turned it over a lot more. And, and we, or we attacked on the defensive end, but we followed a lot more. And so now to, I think, just kind of carry into what we've been working on and take that to, a, to another game is going to be something that's really important for us. Was that a good scouting report? Did you get it all? OK. Without giving you anything, was that good? Gave you a lot with nothing? OK, perfect. That was good. Yeah. And, and what, what would you say is West Virginia basketball? What are you going to bring tomorrow that's, that's just what, you know, what, how you put your stamp on the program? Well, I think our young ladies have done a great job of competing. And if you, and obviously when you look at our stats, and obviously you have, and you've studied who we are, and so have, uh, has, has Arizona and our opponent, but it, we're not an offensively efficient team compared to a lot of other teams out there. So we have to find a way to put our young ladies in positions to compete for possessions and finish plays and make our opponent try to feel as uncomfortable as possible and give ourselves opportunities. When, when you can really score, and, and, and you're an offensively efficient team, you can make up for a lot of things. You have a margin for error. We don't have as much of a margin for error because we, we're not that high-powered offensive team yet. Now, maybe tomorrow it'll all change. Wouldn't that be wonderful? But the reality is probably not that that's who we're going to become by tomorrow. So for us, we have to be really good at competing on every possession. We've got to scramble and find a way, whether that's on the offensive end or the defensive end, to put ourselves in positions to battle that possession. So you know when you hear coaches say, oh, we've got to 
play, play one possession at a time. We really do. We have to try to battle for every single possession. We've got to find a way to, to win that one because everyone is important for us since we don't have a, a, a higher ceiling or higher margin for error, if that makes sense. And what do you have seen from Madison's play, especially in the back half of the season? I mean, she was having a really good season, obviously, right. before that, but she's just turned it on. She has. You know, Madison is someone who is, is so competitive and has learned as well to be competitive and composed. She's someone who has always been a leader, you know, from, from our understanding long before we got to West Virginia. She's been a great leader within the program, and now she is leading in so many different ways. You know, when you look at a – and this will be an interesting matchup because you have two point guards on both teams that are leading scores, you know, for their teams, and that's not really that typical. And so for Madison to be a, a point guard for – you know, her first four years of college that would score when it was her time to score, but facilitated for a lot of other players to becoming, you know, recently certainly a player that has carried the load for us is something that is a, is a really neat evolution for her. And yet she's done it in a way that, you know, has been within the scope of, of, of our offense too, not without, not, not kind of doing things outside of that realm. And so I think she's someone who's continuing to get better, and that's been really fun to watch. And I know you weren't the coach last year at West Virginia, so you did not coach as Mary Martinez, but you have players like Madison and JJ right. who played with her. Have you had conversations with them what it's you know going to be like going up against a former teammate? Well, we've had a chance to do that uh, one, at least one other time this year, and I thought our young ladies handled that with a lot of uh, competitiveness and also a lot of class. And I would anticipate that our young ladies will do the same thing. I think certainly we have a lot of respect for Esmeri and how she's played within our program and how she's playing now. And, and so, you know, I think we go about it as it's, it, it is very similar. It's, this is what we do. This is personnel and this is who we have to guard and this is how we have to guard her. These are her tendencies and those type of things. But I think they obviously know her tendencies probably as well as, as any player that we've played against all year. And, and how was... Um, this week of practice leading up to this, um, did you were you able to take a little bit of a break and sort of refresh, you know, uh, get, catch your breath a little bit, and then start focusing? Well, that's exactly what it was. You know, we played on Friday. We had Saturday off. We traveled on Saturday, got back home. We came back on Sunday before the selection show and really kind of worked on fundamental skills for us. You know, but not knowing, not knowing exactly what tournament you're going to be in, uh, certainly not knowing your opponent, not knowing what day you're going to be playing. And, and so then it, from there, once we knew Sunday night, you know, what the game plan was, we could kind of start to approach it like a normal week to the best of our ability. So I think our energy has been really good. Our, our in, intentionality, if that's a word, I'm not sure if I just made that up, but we are very intentional to, you know, be locked in and focused and and try to put ourselves in as many good positions as possible to win those possession by possession. Now, what do you have anything? Okay, right. great conversation. Yeah. <laughs> we did a great job, there you go. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you.